Today we're here with Sir Democritus and Sir Aristotle, which have very different opinions about the atomic theory. So Sir Democritus, could you please explain to us your observation about the atom and how did you come to call it that way? Just to make it clear, atomos in Greek means not cuttable. I observed the different states of objects and some differences along with my mentor and we came up with an idea that each matter in the world had to come to a state where it could no longer be divided, then we called it, called these particles, atomos. So, Aristotle, what's your opinion about Democritus's idea? Well, from the beginning I had a completely different idea of the atom, which in my opinion is better supported. I thought that all atoms in the world are created from four elements, which are in nature. Of course, those elements are fire, water, earth, and air. On the other hand, I came up with diff a different hypothesis regarding the atom. First, everything is composed of atoms which are indivisible. Between atoms lies empty space. Atoms are indestructible. They are always in motion. There are infinite numbers of atoms, and atoms are different in shapes and sizes. In my theory, there are four qualities of those elements. Dryness, hotness, coldness, and moistness. Thank you for your time, Sir Democritus and Sir Aristotle. We were very pleased to have heard your opinions of the atomic theory. The atomic theory of Aristotle was preserved for 2,000 years until the scientific revolution came up with new proofs and rejected Aristotle's idea.